Hey guys, I'm Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the Put a Spring in Your Step book tag. I saw Lindsay from BFCG doing this back in April and since it's still May and still technically spring according to the calendar, I figured, you know, it was, it was still okay to do this tag and also, um, yeah, it doesn't feel like spring where I live. So it's a little weird to be doing this tag, but it feels like summer, which is, I'm not happy about. But that's beside the point. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into the questions. Some of these are very interesting. Uh, the first question is, how do you decorate your bookshelves? Um, well, as you can see here, I don't really do too many decorations. I mean, you can't really see that much. Let me, yeah, you can't really see anything. But um, aside from, yeah, Eugene there. But I kind of just have, I have some like stones. I don't know if you can see them up here. I have like nature objects and like little figurines and stuff, but I don't really change it from year to year. I might switch them around when I sit, but that's about it. So that's the extent of decorating my bookshelves. Let me put the camera back up. That was weird. Okay. Now we're not doing that weird angle. Um, but yeah, I don't really decorate them for spring or anything. So it's very minimal. Um, I like to get to the books, but I do like a few things on the shelves. So that's just how I do it. Okay. Um, Question two, recommend a book with a beautiful description of nature. Um, yeah, I didn't really actually have to think about this too hard, but the Shadow Screed Saga by Noelle Nichols, um, these books have really pretty descriptions of nature and stuff like that, and I always love reading this, those parts in the books, um, because descriptions I don't normally like too much of, because sometimes it can be too heavy-handed or not enough, and um, these books definitely strike a very beautiful balance of describing nature in a way that you can feel it and see it without it being too flowery or taking forever to say but so yeah I would definitely recommend the series if you want beautiful descriptions of nature definitely the series has that okay uh question three show us a book with a beautiful cover okay well I have many books that I could probably show for this because I have a lot of covers I like, but I thought I'd show this trilogy because I, I don't think I've shown this trilogy. I think I've shown one of the books once on this channel, and that is the Unblemished Trilogy by Sarah Ella. These covers are just gorgeous. This is the cover for book one. It's kind of shiny. The dust jacket's a little shiny. I don't know if you can tell, so it's a little hard, but I love these covers. Um, but so yeah, that's the first book. This is the second book, Unraveling, and yeah, they're just gorgeous. I really like them. Um, they're just, yeah, works of art. And the third book, which is Unbreakable. And yeah, I just love them. And there's flowers, so it's even springy looking. <laughs> so yeah, definitely a uh, very pretty book series. Um, yeah, I definitely need to reread those, though. <laughs> but so when don't I need to do that with books? Okay, question four. Spring is all about new starts, so it's the perfect time to start a new series. What would you recommend? Okay, I have, I could recommend a lot for this. I read a lot of series, but I'm going to just recommend um, uh, about four different options. One of them's a manga series. The other three are uh, novels, or sort of. I'll get to that. And the first one I recommend is The Ilion Chronicles by J.L. Knight. This is a Christian uh, fantasy, non-magical fantasy, and it's just a great epic series. It is now complete at six books. So if you, you're the type of person who likes to binge a series um, all at the same time, the these would be perfect now. And they're also very big. So it could last you for several months, probably throughout the summer. I mean, I know this is a spring tag, but we're in summer now in my brain. So this could last you all summer. <laughs> so I recommend that one. If you want something a little more lighter and shorter, but than say uh, an epic fantasy, but also um, want a little bit of depth to it, I would recommend the the Neverland Fairy Tale novella series um, by Brittany Fitcher. The White Slipper is the first book. These are all just, these are fairy tale retellings uh, that are m more about obscure fairy tales and they're all very short, like this one's a novella. I think one of the books in the series, there's three of them, uh, is more, is a little longer, but yeah, these tell, retell, obscure fairy tales and they are all standalones you do not have to read them in order um so they're just all solid concise stories that just are 
in one book at a time and I cannot talk so but just know this is um, this one especially is a great book I haven't continued the series but I really love this one so yeah that's if you want like fairy tale retellings but with a little bit of depth to them but also just a lighter read and a much shorter read <laughs> Okay, the other, the manga series I'm going to recommend is Yona of the Dawn. This is a fantasy manga. Um, uh, I know some people are going to ask about magic. There's not really any magic in here. Some characters have unnatural powers, but there's no like magic spells or anything. It's just, they're just kind of born with the power. Um, and there is a little bit of talk about like reincarnation and stuff. So that's kind of how it is there's really no magical abilities though you know like nobody shoots like fire out of their hands or anything like that so there is that but it's beautiful art um the series is very long it is still continuing can it's still ongoing that's what i'm trying to say it's currently at 38 volumes um there's 41 plans so far i don't know how long the series is going but yeah definitely if you want a fantasy series um that has beautiful artwork great characters and a very slow burn character growth for a lot of these characters that continues throughout the whole series definitely recommend this series and the last one i'm going to recommend is um the legends of lana Rhea series the the first book is the lady of lana Rhea. this used to be a standalone it is now part of a series this is, actually it is the first book in a series and i'm mentioning this one because the second book the healer of the brigade comes out may 23rd um so if you want to get a jump start on this uh series it is also christian non-magical fantasy and more hinges on the historical fantasy side though it's not a, any like set historical period um if anything if i were to call it anything i'd say it's medieval medieval fantasy but it's not any set time period it is in a different fantasy world and in the first book the first book is a rapunzel retelling um and the second book uh, has like Beauty and the Beast vibes, but it's not a retelling. It's just its own story and it kind of has those vibes to it. And yeah, I really enjoyed both of them. I read an arc of The Healer of the Brigade and really enjoyed it. Um, I'll have, I'll probably be talking about that in my next recent reads video. But yeah, <clears throat> these books, uh, they are full of um, Christian truths. They don't have any magic. They have great characters and great growth and I've really enjoyed both of them and would highly recommend them if you want. I guess uh, they're, they're not really a light read, but they're, I would say they're more along the lines of Brittany Fisher's books where they have some harder truths to them, but they're also lighter. So actually this series would probably be somewhere between like The White Slipper and Ilion Chronicles in intensity level. I mean, because there's like, the climax is pretty intense in this one. And the second one, we're following a war like a war situation so that could be considered intense and there's certain scenes that are intense so make of that what you will i i don't know why i'm trying to recommend things like this but yeah would definitely recommend this series okay um question five it's almost time to start reading outside have you been brave enough yet um i don't really read outside mainly because uh like the white pages on sunlight it bothers my head to no end and i get headaches so easily i just try not to also it's usually incredibly hot and i do not like heat actually i just can't stand it so not really um i mean i've read a few things in the car like when we go on errands and stuff and i don't need to go inside so i just sit out in the car and read does that really count does that count as outside I mean, I'm still in a car, but yeah, and it's really hard to read, like, say, an ebook, say, on a phone screen outside because you can't see anything, so I do on occasion if I can't, if, I, like, I'm waiting for someone, like, say, an errand or something, but in my own house, no, I just stay inside and read. <laughs> okay, so next question, question six, spring cleaning, which book are you in Holly? Well, um, if you missed it, sorry if I just jostled the camera there, um, if you missed it, I did a recent unhaul video. I'll link that in, in the description in case you did miss it. Did I say, did you miss it? My words are not, I'm blaming the heat for my lack of coherency this morning. Anyways, if you didn't see that video, I will link it below. If you did see it, you know I'm unhauling a bunch of books. Um, And I recently just went on this weird rereading of some a lot of my old books binge um to like see if I want to get rid of them or something because I don't know why but like the fact that they're there and I haven't read them feels like driving me nuts for some reason don't ask I do not know either my brain is weird but I found I 
ended up unhauling three other books that are not in that video, so I'll just show them here. Uh, One of Home's Endurance Ride by Bonnie Bryant. This is one of these Saddle Club books, and it was just fine. Um, it was okay. I'm not a big fan of the Saddle Club series, mainly because the characters annoyed me to no end. Um, but it kind of had a telling writing style. I'm not really into that anymore, which, you know, is a kind of common thing for older type books, and especially like the, these middle grade, like, uh, not really mass produced, but mass written. I mean, this is like book 69 in the series. But anyways, um, it was fine. It's one of the very few fiction books that covers endurance riding, which is a, a, like a, it's kind of like long distance trail ride in trail walking, if you've heard of that, but on horses. So yeah, and it's like a timed competition and stuff. Um, I thought about enduring endurance riding once, but I'm not sure if I could actually do that in all actuality, knowing who I am. But anyways, um, this is one of the few fiction books that actually covers that sport, so I like it for that reason. But yeah, it's just, it's just okay. I gave it like three stars when I reread it, so yeah, it's just fine. I'll talk more about these probably in my next recent reads as well. Also, I will be unhauling Little Prince and Samurai's Ride by Annie Woodkind. Um, they're just fine. Uh, this one actually ended up being kind of bored with, um, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, I was kind of bored with this one. So I gave it like two stars and then this one I gave three stars. It was fine, but, um, it's just not one I would reread a lot. So I'm passing these on to someone else who will. Okay. Question seven. And which books are you going to replace them with? Uh, that's funny that how it's worded like that. It's fun. It's like, the per whoever came up with this tag, it definitely was like, yeah, you're a book person. You're going to get rid of books, but you're also probably going to buy books too. So, and I did, I mean, I'm just going to show you the most recent ones I got. And let me know down below in the comments, if you guys want to see me do a book haul, I meant to do several, um, but I got way behind and literally I have so many books I could probably talk about. And these are back from like ones I got in December of 2022. So this would be like, yeah, almost, uh, let's see, almost five to six months worth of books. I mean, I, not that I get that many at a time, but and just let me know down below in the comments if you still want to see a video about that, um, because I'm kind of on the fence about it. Like I want to do it, but then I'm thinking, you know, people are going to think all I do is buy books <laughs> when I don't really, it's like a several months span time of these. So, but, but yeah, just let me know down below in the comments if you'd like me to still do that video. But anyways, um, these are four most recent books I bought and, um, two of them are Abandoned and Freedom's Whisper by Angela Dorsey. These are just middle grade horse books, but I like Angela Dorsey's writing. She kind of writes supernatural, um, type stories. Um, one of her books was a ghost story. I don't know if this one is. Um, but yeah, this is just one of her standalones. And this one, it, Freedom's Whisper, is the third book in her Freedom trilogy, which I have uh, read the first two books when I was younger. I never read the third one because my library never had it. So yeah, now I have it and I can actually complete that trilogy. So I got those two. And then uh, another book I got is The White Road Tales the complete novella collection by J.R. Castle. I love this cover. Um, this is like a novella collection. I, the White Road Chronicles is a Christian fantasy series that I started. Oh man, how long ago did I start that? <laughs> because I got the first book for, as free on an ebook. I think I started it one to two years ago. I should probably continue. I really want to continue the series. So, um, I got this one. This is like a novella collection of uh, novella is told from my side character's point of view, I think, of certain things in the beginning book. I'm not fully sure where you would read this in the series. I got it because it's like a, normally like a $16, $17 book and I got it for five. So, um, and I wanted to get the series anyway, so I got this one. I don't think I can read it yet though. I'm not fully sure in what order you can read it because I've only read for book one of the other, of the main series. So, yeah, I don't know, but I really like the cover, so I got that one. And the last book I got was the first book in the Supervillain Rehabilitation Project, Reformed by H.L. Burke. This is like a superhero series. I've heard this compared to like Marvel movies and stuff, and I do like the older Marvel movies. Um, anything beyond, anything beyond Endgame, I don't like. So, 
there's that. But um, I do really enjoy the superhero stuff. So, and I've heard tons of great things about this series. And I like H.L. Burke's, um, some of her other books a lot. One of her books is actually one of my top favorite books. So yeah, I just wanted to get this and try this out. So yeah, there is that. And those are all the questions. Probably question eight, if there was one, is probably to tag somebody. But since spring is kind of rolling out, I don't know who'd want to do this. But I'll go ahead and tag a few people anyways, in case you guys want to do this before May runs out. Or you could change it to the summer t tag. Um, anyways, um, so... Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. So, uh, who I will tag? I will tag the writing songbird... Celestria and Oshina. Um, I will tag you three girls. If you want to do this tag before May runs out, feel free. Um, if you don't, that's perfectly fine too. <laughs> so yeah, I just need someone to tag. So, okay. So that was the tag. Um, yeah, let me know down below in the comments. Um, what you thought <laughs> I, I honestly don't know what to say about that maybe I just shouldn't say that anymore because I honestly never know what to say so comment if you want if you don't that's fine um yeah like and subscribe if you want don't if you don't um and yeah thanks so much for watching you guys I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time bye